As the cooler season approaches, some people may be considering more plants to put into their garden, but people may wonder what mulch could do for a garden and the amount needed for your crops or for your home garden. Joining us today, sharing those tips and resources is Dr. Joe Willis with the LSU Ag Center. We always love when Dr. Joe comes on, shows us some amazing things. Uh, how's it feeling out there, first of all, as far as those plants are concerned? How's the weather out there, Dr. Joe? Oh, it's great. I'm liking it that it's got a little bit cooler. That's actually my favorite time of year in Louisiana is the cooler season. Nice right. crops, beautiful plants. And, and it makes it easier, I'm sure, to get out and actually do it outside. It's not too unbearable yeah. with the weather. Now, when you're talking about the cooler weather, Dr. Joe, uh, and we know it's finally arrived, so gardeners may be excited to put into those, uh, those cool season plants. Are there any other gardening chores right now that people should be doing this time of year? Well, now is the best time of year to put that replenish your mulch. Mulch is really important for our gardens. And so now it's a great time to do it. Cause like you said, the weather's a little nicer to be out doing the work and you can get it down. So it does a job for you. And so you got, looks like you got like a bag of mulch there or something right there next to you. Um, what are, uh, besides making a landscape look better, what else does mulch do for your garden? Um, what's its, what's its, what's its use uh, for anybody who's maybe not familiar with, uh, with utilizing it? what mulch does it does four things especially if you're using the organic mulches first thing you'll do is well hold moisture in the soil so you don't have to water as often or irrigate as often it gives some water there for the plants the second thing it will do if you pop, properly apply the mulch it will keep the weeds from growing or most of them so it'll keep down your weed pressure and then it will also help to modulate the soil temperature so in the winter time, I like to use dark mulch like we see here, and, and that will allow the soil to stay warmer. And then in the spring, when I replenish it and put down mulch, I use a lighter colored mulch so that it'll help to keep the soil cooler. And then the fourth thing it does is as the mulch breaks down, it adds organic matter to your soil, which enriches the soil, helps the plants and the microorganisms growing in your soil. Got it. And so obviously different types of mulch, important to know uh, which type and when to use them. When you talk about properly applied mulch, what does what do you mean when you say properly applied? What What's the right way to, uh, to apply that mulch if you're working in your garden? Okay, when you're applying mulch, what you want to do is make sure that you spread it out to where you have about a two inch to four inch thickness when you spread it. Because if you don't have at least two inches, then the weeds are going to grow through and it doesn't do as good a job at holding in the soil moisture. However, if you go more than four inches, what that will do is retain, it will help to keep the, the weeds down, but it won't allow gas exchange in the soil. So your plant roots need oxygen. A lot of the microorganisms need oxygen. If it's deeper than four inches, that prevents oxygen from getting into your soil. So mm. properly applied is a nice smooth layer that's at least two inches deep, but not much over four inches deep. Got it. And uh, Dr. Joe, we always appreciate you coming on, sharing those tips. There are a lot of home gardens, large gardens all across our region. We know during the summer months, Dr. Joe, people don't like necessarily getting out and working. This is that time of year where people get excited. I know my wife's one of them. She gets excited about going outside in this weather and working. So learning about mulches and learning about how to take care of them, always, always uh, happily accepted advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Joe with the LSU Ag Center. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Josh. Absolutely.